the campus of Notre Dame University on Library Lawn. Walid Alumla spoke with some of the organizers earlier this evening and has more from the newsroom, Walid. Yeah, that's right, guys. Organizers tell me that just over 70 people showed up to show their support for the people of Palestine. And one of the ways they did that was reading off the names of 10,000 Palestinian children that were killed in the war. Alma Adnan Jamal Al Qatrawi, infant. Alma Muamin Mohammed Hamdan, infant. Those were just a couple of the names of the 10,000 Palestinian children that have been killed in the war that started on October 7th. And that's one of the reasons why students with the University of Notre Dame hosted a vigil earlier tonight on campus mourning the loss of these Palestinians. We were reading names of martyrs and particularly children the entire time. So we started with infants under one year old, spoke names for the full two hours, and we only got through um, those martyrs who were up to five years old. Students of all backgrounds and nationalities came out to Hesburg Library, leaving flowers and messages for some of the 30,000 Palestinians that have been killed. It's a struggle that all sorts of people can connect with. We're all really coming from different places. We care about different things. We study different things. As students in Notre Dame, we do different things for jobs. And yet we all are sort of coming together um, in solidarity and community in support of one another and in support of a free Palestine. And people like Freeman come out to show their support because it's a problem that's bigger than any one person's beliefs. So I'm Jewish um, and I strongly stand against the genocide that the Israeli state is committing. And my name and I will do everything in my power to draw attention to this uh, genocidal violence um, and to do everything we can within our power to stop this violence. When I reached out to the University of Notre Dame for a statement, they referred me to President Jenkins' statement on free speech, saying, quote, we are committed to students learning in accord with their obligations, visions, and interests. Moreover, scholars and students in our community have the freedom to express their views on any matter. We lead alumna uh, reporting live from the newsroom for us tonight. We'll lead. Thank you.